fact, a nation must have a policy. And that what's written in that policy cannot be changed here, but can have a recommendations. If we are thinking about the quality of the teacher training news, we must think about what support materials are we giving the teachers. TTI have different capacities in terms of space, learning instructional materials, equipment, and facilities, human resources, management and administration, as well as coordination, mentoring, and monitoring procedures. I think the main challenge is the language of instruction. The Ministry of Education is in the driving seat and we are just supporting. The Somali way of life presents a contradiction to the highly structured social services provision system modelled on the modern industrial social structure, which has been rather successfully adapted to the highly sedentary cultivator social structure. It is at this crossroads that delivery of modern secular education in Somaliland finds itself. Somaliland is a country with a homogeneous society that has held on to its age-old cultural values. The Somali pastoral lifestyle has been refined over thousands of years by the vagaries of harsh climate, the gatekeeper geographical position that placed its people astride a major historic trade route that linked hinterland Africa to the Middle East and Asia, and the persistent struggle amongst neighbours to guarantee prime access to water and pasture for livestock. It is in this context that over the years the European Commission has focused on consolidating education delivery as a key strategy for human development in post-war Somaliland. As the basic education subsector continues to expand, there is urgent need for corresponding balanced sector-wide growth with systematic upgrading of quality assurance mechanisms, especially given that the primary education subsector comprises up to a large 70% unqualified teaching force. Therefore, the need for countrywide in-service training for teachers increased following the EC-supported development and introduction of the new primary teacher training curriculum. Against this background, the EC in July 2004 commissioned a study to assess the feasibility of the program for strengthening the capacity of teacher training, SCOT for short, in Somaliland amongst other areas. The study found out the following. There was a heavy presence of about 68% unqualified teachers in the primary school subsector. The annual trained teacher output from the residential primary teacher education institutions of 143 against the required 373 teachers per annum as per the Education for All 2015 target. Women were grossly underrepresented at 11.7% in the teaching force, resulting in the lack of role models for girl children. NGOs and INGOs offering non-standardized, poorly coordinated training without comprehensive professional curriculum. In the past, each agency come with their own curricula. Now there is a curricula which is driven by the Somalis themselves and owned by the Somalis themselves and implemented by teacher training institutes originated in Somalia. As a result of the foregoing, Somaliland was far from achieving the Millennium Development Goals by the year 2015 unless very drastic measures were taken. The teachers for the children of Somaliland are a key factor in transforming education in Somaliland. So bringing the teachers into the professional global family is the way forward for Scott. Somaliland cannot stay out in isolation. Teaching the profession is a global family. And for a long, long time, teachers in Somaliland have been left out in the cold. So we must get them all into board. They must be professional teachers. In order to address the issues arising from the feasibility study, Save the Children UK, as the lead agency of the consortium responsible for the implementation of the Scott project, organized a second stakeholder group meeting in Hargeisa, Somaliland, in February 2007. The objectives of the meeting were, firstly, to review project progress and agree on strategies for consolidating performance. Secondly, to strengthen common understanding of project purpose and strategic direction. And finally, to review commitment to the Partnership for National Teacher Development. We have set goals with the project Scott 
uh, Scott Gratchett to achieve tangible results in addressing the challenge of a long undertrained teachers in primary schools, achieving equitable and quality education in our schools, enhancing practical application of knowledge and skills in professional teaching, and lastly, to achieve proper certification and remuneration of the uh, primary school teachers of Somalia. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Scott stakeholders, coordinating committee members, committee members, and on behalf of the government of Somalia, I hereby warmly pass uh, to you my gratitude and wishes, and I hope success for our two-day consol consolidating workshop. After the initial opening, the meeting got down to the first item of its business order, which was to receive reports from various partner institutions involved in the Scott project. The report from the Ministry of Education dealt with achievements, challenges, suggestions for improvement and strategic direction for teacher development in Somaliland. With no doubt, the consortium of international agencies, project manager, together with educational families of Somaliland, especially the TTIs and their regional partners of Scott, has achieved full success in many areas of the planned and scheduled activities of, the, of, one year, uh, of year one of the Scott project. However, TTIs have different capacities in terms of space, learning instructional materials, equipment and facilities, human resources, management and administration, as well as coordination, mentoring, and monitoring procedures. The roles and responsibilities of the Ministry of Education and its regional education offices in the Scott project also include the following. To be involved in all stages of the project cycle. To facilitate the implementation of action plans by informing and liaising with the relevant government departments in order to enlist their support for the project. And finally, to ensure that the regional education offices and other education institutions under its control are supportive of and participate as necessary in the implementation of the action plans. Supported by the European Commission, Scott Indeed is an initiative that aims to establish a teacher training system that will guarantee a sustainable provision of adequate, qualified male and female teachers in response to changing demands of the basic and primary education subsector in Somaliland. The whole teacher training development should be shared under one policy, shared approved by the, our partners, the Ministry of Education and nobody else. As a key partner, the Ministry of Education has been actively engaged in the Scott Initiative. Teacher training in Somaliland is conducted in the country's four universities, and their contributions as such are critical. And this is what they had to say in their joint presentation. We think curriculum review is a must. Uh, we, we think Somali should be the medium of instruction. And we think English should be as only as taught as a subject. Uh, we think the special program for trainees with no or little educa uh, formal education. I would suggest the Ministry of Education to build or to try to build their capacity by upgrading, for example, their MIS or management information systems. They need a way to really know how many teachers they need how every teacher or teacher trainee is doing, they have to receive the grades and the examinations and the tests of these uh, trainees at the teacher institutions. In using teacher training as its entry point, Scott intends to design, develop and establish a comprehensive in-service curriculum whose implementation will result in improved and enhanced professional teaching skills amongst others. The coming five years we hope teachers will get the all opportunities of training and by 2011 we expecting and hoping our teachers to be all trained, have good necessary training. In presenting their reports, consortium agencies highlighted the following. The progress on project indicators highlighting challenges and key issues for action an update on a call for proposals and future prospects for partnership, 
and finally, proposed project activities. A consortium of international non-governmental organisations implementing the Scott project are Save the Children UK, Save the Children Denmark and Care International, all with a track record of experience in formal and non-formal education programming in Somaliland and Puntland and working in collaboration with respective ministries. For that matter, Save the Children was appointed as the lead agency of the consortium, charged with the key responsibility of coordinating the activities of the consortium members and ensuring that implementation and operations of the programme are conducted according to laid down plans and procedures. In that regard, the overall objective of the SCOP programme is equitable and quality education, accessible for all in Somaliland, whilst its purpose is improved and enhanced professional teacher skills and knowledge. SCOT, therefore, covers all the six regions of Somaliland in the following respect. Care International works in Sanag, Zol and Hargeisa, Save the Children UK in Togdia, and Save the Children Denmark in Audal and Sahil. The main targets are our teachers who are now currently in, in, in the job and also a pre-service for girls because we would like you know, to have you know, more female teachers. Uh, in addition to the existing you know, male teachers. So both the in-service and the pre-service you know, teachers training program is contributing a lot for the improvement of quality. If we start teaching grade two in English, when our kids are going to learn Somali language? The medium of instruction should be Somali and we use it to train the teachers as long as they are teaching so young Somali students. But once people are taught in English, the world is open. When it comes to the interactive session, there were a number of issues that ranged from the category and quality of teacher trainees to the inconvenience faced by female in-service teacher trainees when they leave their families to attend courses. When we left for Scott training, we were taken to Borama, which is quite far from Sahil. Actually, Hargeza is nearer. We want training to be held in our region. So, in order to deal with issues exhaustively, participants were divided into five working groups. And at the end of their discussions, they were expected to come up with action points that addressed the following. Group 1 was to address the issues of the language to be used as the medium of instruction in teacher training. Group 2 was to discuss diversity in teacher education backgrounds. Group 3 was to look into the kind of curriculum and curriculum materials needed, whilst Group 4 addressed the issue of teacher specialization, and Group 5 dealt with the issue of improving tutors or instructors' proficiency. And at the end of it all, an aid memoir was prepared which summarized action points as follows. The medium of instruction should be Somali. There should be an increase in teaching of English subjects in the classroom. Teacher training institutions, or TTIs, should lobby the government to make Somali language the medium of instruction in the long term. Existing curriculum should be revised to take into consideration the need of the three categories of trainees. Teacher training institutions should form a working group to come up with recommendations on the issue of categories of trainees and review the curriculum and adjust duration for those requiring more time to complete, for instance, one to three years. The Scott project should support provision of textbooks and teaching or learning materials to TTIs. TTIs should provide photocopy facilities for the documents to be distributed to trainees. Mentoring should be redesigned. The Ministry of Education and the TTIs to hold separate meetings to discuss teacher specialization and provide consultants on the process of curriculum renewal and TTIs to be assisted with qualified manpower to improve instructors' proficiency. As the Scott project is being implemented, those who are bound to benefit directly are the 2,036 unqualified teachers in Somaliland, of whom 399 are female. 137 newly recruited female teachers who will receive training scholarships. The Ministry of Education management staff at all levels will benefit as will the 300 head teachers and deputy head teachers who will receive training in school management. And finally, the four TTIs, which will receive essential equipment and training for the implementation of the teacher education program. Indirect beneficiaries of the program are, of course, the 124,418 primary school children in Somaliland through the provision of quality education, and the school communities who will have an increased number of trained teachers.
the idea, the whole idea is to train our teachers so that they can uh, take the students to, at the end of the day, to a level where they can in turn uh, give the nation uh, what it deserves in developing uh, for the future. All in all, it is envisaged that by the end of the project in 2007, the increased number of qualified teachers will help eliminate unqualified teachers from the education system in Somaliland by the year 2015. Indeed, that is in keeping with the spirit of the Scott project, which is laying the foundation for quality teacher training in Somaliland.